Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing, Case File 263. I'm Braden. I'm Zell. I'm Dan. And I'm Andrew. And tonight we're joined by a very special guest, a legit professional pod- podcaster, writer, actor, producer. Well, was he executive producer at How Stuff Works? And you would probably know his voice best from the podcast, Stuff They Don't Want You to Know. We have Ben Bolin joining us tonight. Welcome, Ben. Oh, gosh, yeah. Thank you uh, for having me. Uh, famously, one of the o- o- one of only two guests to, uh, <laughs> to to mess up coming on the show. Uh, Good company, my friend. Yeah. You guys Elvis. are telling me it's, uh, it's uh, Elvis and myself saying, come here with a mea culpa. And I uh, wanted to wanted to make good on this. We, yeah. 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 We got a little ki- we got a kill list somewhere. Yeah. It, we we hope we, it's, a, it's the book it of grudges. It goes back to just Elvis. Yeah. We have yeah, a book yeah, of only one. Back grudges. to just Elvis. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, right, good. Book good. of grudges. Scratch yeah. you off there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but thank you guys so much for having me. I reached out. Now we had met a number of years ago at a thing called uh, Alien Con, and I, and I like to I like to think that. We kind of clicked and connected on, on a lot of the same things, so I kept an I kept an eye out and an ear out, and I wanted to uh, I wanted to come like tug at you guys coats or whatever they say. <laughs> I don't know English idioms uh, very well. Uh, I don't know uh, to to talk about stuff that that was that I thought would be of interest uh, to all of us. And I gotta say, man, I don't. I, I know this is part of the the live stuff now, but um, folks. If you're tuning into ATT, uh, welcome. And the the coolest stuff is some of the backstage conversation. You know how friendly it is. It feels like it feels like walking into a very cozy space to to be able to to shoot the breeze for a little bit before we before we get rolling. You know what I mean? And also, also, yeah. Th- thanks for having me after I totally shat the bed on showing up last um, time. Not a problem. I mean, it's, it's cool. Just you, the way, you nearly the way missed goes. the vote of. I think it was fifty one percent in favor of having you back. Fifty-one percent, forty-nine percent of murdering you, I guess. Right? Yeah, yeah. The other one was keeping you on that Kill list. list. So it's okay. oh, that's good. I've, I, you know, I lived. I did my time. No, you're good. Yeah, I think yeah. we met you. At, I think we, met, yeah, we met you at Alien Con. I think it was 2019. That was a riot. And then I think we all went to the what was it? The Star Wars themed cantina with like Hysteria 51 and. That's right. Mad, Mad Scientist podcast and a couple others, and we yeah, yeah, yeah had, a, fun. had a hell of a time. And yeah, I mean, when we first started podcasting, obviously, you were you guys were already going. So, oh, you, you guys are you, you guys are one of the first. Yeah, I so think I, I was yeah. before we even started the pod, or you know, before we even started the pod. I think I was listening to you guys before we started our podcast. Like I was already listening. Oh gosh, so I knew. Uh, Thank you yeah. so much. You're, uh, oh, yeah, definitely OG legend here. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. you've keep me entertained on many a night shift. Listen oh, to the man. talk radio, man. Thank For real. you, dude. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is like a uh, with. Uh, with the, with these sort of things, you know, we're talking off off air, right? Uh, totally thought we uh, totally thought we would end up being fired. You know, the, the, <laughs> the now we get these. Um, it's really heartfelt, sincere, and and pretty cryptic emails every so often that say, <laughs> "Have you guys been doing this so long?" Who's really funding you? Who you really work for? Who do you work for? The CIA. And I'm like, I fucking wish we were the CIA. Oh, do you know how much more? Like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was I like, get government oh, holidays pen- off? <laughs> fuck You yeah. know what I mean? I'm answering this email a little bit shit canned at 2.30 <laughs> in the morning. The CIA, I am not. Um... But yeah, yeah. So it's. I think it's really cool that shows like this uh, exist. I'm not talking about stuff they want you to know. I'm talking about alien theorists because uh, we're in a time uh, as a civilization. We're in a time where people are, I think, increasingly less hesitant to question some of the things that they would have been otherwise, you know, embarrassed to mention in a public sphere, or in some cases it could have ended their careers. Like a lot of pilots are coming out and saying, yeah, I saw it. We all saw this thing and it was weird. And then you ask them, well, why didn't you say anything when it happened this many years ago? And they say, well, 
Because I like being a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I like my job. <laughs> we, had, yeah, no uh, we had Kevin Day on uh, a year and a half ago, and uh, he, he actually cried. He was so oh, happy that this all this information vindicated. about Tic Tac had come out. And yeah. we asked him, we were like, do you feel vindicated? And he started to tear up and cry. He's like, it's, it it's, feels so good that I'm not crazy. <laughs> and you're like, mm. oh, shit, this is this is a real human and having real emotions who's seen some shit. Mm. Right? Mm. So yeah. very interesting. Yeah, no, it's been, a, it's been a fun ride so far for sure. But tonight we're not so much talking about extraterrestrials. You reached out a while ago, and you guys put out an episode about the Silurian hypothesis. Now, for people who don't know what that is, including us, before you really met, message us, what exactly is that, and why did it interest you? Okay. All right. Now, this does tie into uh, uh, tangentially to the idea that is often sort of called in general ancient aliens mm. uh, it doesn't it doesn't fall into some of the uh, I think frankly racist trappings that ancient aliens can For can sure. fall into <clears throat> but the the Silurian hypothesis is a legit kind of a thought experiment uh, there a while back uh, these two guys, both who have their bona fides, a guy named Gavin Schmidt and a guy named Adam Frank, got together and they were having like one of our favorite kind of conversations. One of the theorizing, one of the, yeah, interesting nerds having interesting conversations. Kind of like how that's that, what is it like the Fermi paradox came into those like guys just sitting, exactly. there, just sitting yeah. in a sitting in the cafeteria being like, you know what? Slamming their fists stuff, on the table. You know? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're Where at lunch, is everybody. Where are they then? <laughs> you know, he's like flinging a French fry around for emphasis. Yeah. <laughs> yes, these two guys have something like this, and they started saying, "Get married to two very smart dudes." They started saying, "You know what? What if we could detect alien civilizations by analyzing what we can learn about their climate?" Uh, from from space, the very very far away stuff, and then eventually, in the course of these conversations, one of them says, uh, paraphrasing here, "Holy shit! What if we could do this with Earth? We're a lot closer. <laughs> We've got you know we can learn more about the world around us." And they call it the Silurian hypothesis, and it led them to this weird thing where they said, "Is it possible that there could have been?" an industrial civilization before the one that people live in today, right? Is it possible that uh, so many, many millions of years ago, something could have come and went, and we, uh, we as current civilization, would we be able to detect it? What they found was pretty interesting. Even for folks who, who feel that they are very skeptical, the, the problem, simply put, is that Earth is a superorganism. It's alive. It's, it's always living. hungry. It's really difficult to build anything that lasts on a, like the long-term geological time yeah, like scale. They, like the human body sheds its entire, your entire skin sloughs off within a couple of years yes. or so long and then everything's not mine gone. not yours <laughs> not your feet not on those feet oh Brain you, you paid extra hard. for the good skin yeah he's yeah. got the good shit okay so yes, we're talking we're shoes like two sizes bigger because just all the extra yeah. skin on there. It just falls down. I'm not getting fatter. Like people are like, oh, he's, he's putting on weight. No, no, I just don't shit. He absorbs his own mass. <laughs> You're accumulating mass. <laughs> exactly right. That's so when we're talking about industrial like level, we're talking about like like steam engine and like that yeah, kind of stuff. So okay, so the idea is like, would you would you be able to detect anything from a large scale large scale deployment of say like fossil fuels that would be one uh, right. large scale uh, transformation of materials machine work you know uh, and then all the way up to like a nuclear capable society or even a space hey guys thanks for watching I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.